G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Today's video is about the Thermarest NeoAir Uberlite. Now, I've had this for around three years now. I've used it all four seasons here in Australia, which is probably equivalent to the three seasons in some of the uh, cooler climates. So I thought, that's it, after three years, we'll do another review and let you know how it's going. Now I'm going to be cheating today. I'm not going to use my breath to blow this up. I'm going to use the little Neo Air pump. So get a bit closer. They're not the cheapest, but they're, they're worth it. So let's put it down there. So it's nice and small. I've got my cheat sheet down here. So let's give you all the measurements before we get into the real stuff. All right, this is the regular size one. They do a small, regular, regular wide and large. The uh, small is, let's find it, the uh, length. The small is 47 inches, which is 119 centimeters. Uh, 51 centimeters wide, which is 20 inches, and weighing at uh, 0 0.17 kilograms, which is 170 grams, which is six ounces. Our value on all of them is 2.3, and the color they call it Orion, so it's like a dark blue. Where else? Uh, the depth of it is 2.5 inches, or they say the height, so the thickness. Uh, the, that is 6.4 centimetres. And the regular, everything's basically the same with the width. The weight is 8.8 .8 ounces, 250 grams, uh, 20 inches wide, 51, inches, uh, 51 centimetres, uh, 72 inches in length, which is 1.83. The regular wide is the same. And the large, did I get it? The large did not print out for some reason. Why is that? Oh, I apologise about that. But I think that is about 78 inches, I'm not sure. So this is a regular, so it's rated at R value 2.3, which uh, if you look it up, they reckon the 2.3 comes into the uh, mid-spring, mid-autumn, summer. I have taken this down to 3 degrees centigrade that I know of. I haven't been cold, I haven't been warm, it's just been that feeling where it's just a level body temperature. <sighs> That's a cheat sheet, That's all we need. Ah, oh, no, material. Nice and easy, uh, 15D nylon. It comes with a repair sack and the new ones now, because this is three years old, the new ones come with a pump sack provided, which is a pump sack stuff sack. And the nylon is the polyurethane and a US built of the finest US and global materials. They used to have, I don't know if they still do, they, they've got a manufacturing factory in Ireland too. So, but they're saying here, USA built. All right, let's get that down there. <coughs> Excuse me. Now the way I've packed this, I've got the valve sticking out the end. So let you see that. So that means it's not gonna be pushing into the sleeping mat itself or bulging out. And it's just a simple length. Makes very little difference and it's easier to pack down a little corner somewhere in your backpack. Now I normally store this in one of my bivvy and sleeping bags or I just have it rolled up in my sleep roll. I put it back in here so you can see how it comes. Like I said, it does come with a puncture repair kit, which by the feels of it, I don't actually have in the bag at the moment, the pack. That's probably in my uh, ditty bag. But rolling up wise, it goes in and out of there quite easy. Pocket job for that, don't want it blown away. Now going to the valve. This is the old valve. 
the new one, uh, butterfly I think they call it, you can either open it so your air goes in and then you adjust the butterfly somehow and that allows the air to come out. So you can blow it up without having to keep holding it in between breaths. And I fold this up when it goes back in the pack or back in the uh, little soft sack into three. Excuse the wind. I'm about halfway up a hill, so it might sound worse than it really is on the microphone. Let the wind stop. No, it's not going to stop just yet. Packing it away, or rolling up to fit in the stuff sack, like I said, I just fold it in thirds, one third over, another third over, and that gives you your width of your stuff sack. So that's simple, and you then roll from the bottom with the valve open, and that way you're expelling all the air in one go. I've seen people try and do it by folding it in half, and then rolling it, and not realizing what they're really doing is they've rolling half the air out the bottom, uh, at the top, but the other half is getting stuck in the bottom half of your sleep mat. So I always going to just roll it from the bottom continuously all the way to the top. And when you get there and there's no air left in it, close your valve and put it in your little stuff sack. That's done nice and easy. <clears throat> now the print I have on top I don't think there's any difference between top and bottom in material, but that's just the way around I've had it, or the way around I have it. Now I can see inside here where I've had condensation and I've just got stains on the inside of the sleep mat, but it's not made any difference to the actual quality and usability of it. Now let's attach to the little pump and get it pumped up. Now, if you open it anti-clockwise, it opens, clockwise tightens it back up, the valve on this one. So I've opened the valve, get the little pump out, put it over the end, and then open the lid properly on this little pump. The little pump is the switch that turns it on and off. The, pump. the lid is the switch that turns it on and off. So I open it all the way and the pump starts. So now while that's doing that, I'd normally just go, oops, excuse me, uh, put, the cat, uh, put the hot uh, kettle on, shall I say, the, uh, the pot of water on and make a hot drink or boil some water so I can make some food. Now we'll leave that and we'll come back when it's actually blown up all the way. Now it's been one minute and the top half is inflated about just over halfway, maybe nearly three quarters. But the bottom has just begun to fill but what they recommend is once you get to this point to close your valve so I'll do while it's still connected turn that off and they recommend that you roll it down and force the air from the top down to the bottom And back to the top again and reattach the pump and let it blow the rest up. <clears throat> it's two and a half minutes now. Fill wise. The actual depth is up to about the two inches, nearly two and a half. All that's going to happen from here 
is it's going to pull the sides in and firm up. I did have this on the ground not far from here but the ants were out so that's why we're doing it on the picnic table. Now when this gets to a point as you can see with that it's not far off there the little pump won't blow it up all the way you're going to have to put uh, one or two breaths into it but what I do is once it's got to the point where the pump's making little difference I close it and leave it and then I put the pump back on later on before I actually use it to go to sleep because as the temperature drops the firmness of this will drop down and you're going to have to put more air in it so to reduce the actual breath you're putting in here leave it to get to the point like I said just before you go and climb in use the pump pop it up and if it's not hard enough just put one or two little breaths in there just to make it a little bit firmer to how you like it now it's at that point now after a little bit, three and a half minutes to get to the point I think the pump's still working on it but it's not far off so you're seeing about four minutes while you're making a cup of tea or preparing your food with the little pump oh, and I think people say it's about 10-11 breaths while using the, the actual lungs rather than using a pump comfort wise at first because it wasn't a wide which I was used to it was a bit of a pain my I'm not the tallest of people but my shoulders are fairly broad so when I'm laying there basically my arms are flopping straight onto the floor and not onto the actual mat but then I started to get used to that and I was able to rest my arms down the side of me and there was just enough room for me on this with my arms down comfort wise laying on my back you can't feel the floor at all is get it to the right bit I get it so my bum sinks in a little bit so I'm not laying dead flat because that makes my back ache and makes my hips ache but I just got enough for a little bit of give uh, I have no trouble with sleeping on it laying on my side you do sink in deeper but with the two and a half inches you do not reach the ground there are the pumps telling me now it's just made a funny noise where it's not letting any more in but just using the pump there you can see there's plenty in there so going back to laying on your side I haven't felt the ground if I put my elbow on it as it is now yeah I'll feel the ground by get, when I'm getting on and off but once I'm laying on it and my body pressure is on it or laying on my side my hips don't touch the ground my shoulders don't touch the ground I don't feel the cold of the ground so the actual structure of this actually works really well I'm not certain but I think there is, uh, I think they call a diamond thing or a triangle but there's another piece of material holding this top to the bottom but they're going zigzagging I'd say and that holds some of the heat in, the warmth but like I said I've taken it down to 3 degrees centigrade that I know of, it may have been colder I've seen other people say they've taken it down to just below zero it all depends on you and whether you sleep hot or if you sleep cold or in between I sleep I found roughly in the middle now noise wise yeah these pads are quite noisy but the older they get the actual quieter they get when you're laying on them a lot of people complain so they don't like then they punch it easy uh, all that sort of stuff like I said this is over three years old now and I've used it out here on the Billwoman track on uh, the uh, Tyvek sheets on the ground inside the bivvy bag uh, I've used it in the shelters which is just like a marine ply board base with this laying straight on top of that with my sleeping bag on top uh, yeah <laughs> mine's still going I've seen a guy on YouTube who's actually led on it going down the rapids or only not big massive rapids but small rapids only about a foot and dropping on and off and you got the scratch marks off all the rocks he went over 
but he didn't get a punch on his. So I think those who have complained about getting punctures, they haven't actually looked after the mats properly or they may have got the fo odd faulty one. But all I can tell you is with mine, I've had no trouble with it at all. Just I've got my hands on here now and I can feel my hands warming up and the R value is only 2.3. So it does reflect warmth back into your body when you're laying on it. I've never actually done this before holding my hands on there. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't take long for it to start reflecting the heat. M matter of seconds and you can feel the heat reflecting back to your hands. Now I'm gonna put this back in my bivy bag with my sleeping bag. I have this in the bivy bag with a sleeping bag on top of this. And that way my mat isn't slipping away in the night and I'm not sliding off the mat because the bivy bag's holding this all together at the same time. So I hope you've enjoyed the video and it's given you some information and to let you know about what I think and what my actual pad and how it has lasted. So if you have and you're not a subscriber, please go down below and click on the subscribe button. Click on the notification bell next to that and select all. Click the thumbs up button, the like button. And if you are already a subscriber, again, I thank you very much. So until next time, get out there, have some fun and take care.